Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create, and I just wanted to come on to do a quick little run through of another baby album. And now it doesn't have to be a baby album, but I made it into a baby album um, for a little boy. Our family's had three baby boys born since July, a lot of baby boys. So I'm making albums for Christmas for all of them. So if you watched my Savannah, album this i made for my my nephew's son i loved number one i loved this paper i love this paper so i am using the exact same build for this album so this savannah album if you remember was what was it it was nine by seven with a two and a quarter inch spine this is exactly the same. So it is built off of this album. So if you see the tutorial on how to build this, you can build this. And it's a fairly easy album to make. Now with this one, I used Graphic 45's Little Things. I've already made a bigger album using this same paper because I love this paper. It's so bright and whimsical. I wanted to try it out in a baby album also. So this is what I came up with. Using the same button elastic closure that we made for the Savannah album. I love these closures. It keeps everything tight and it's easy to take off and put back on. So with the front, what it's real it's a real simple front. What we have is this die cut. It's like a four, almost a four inch diameter circle. And inside is a three inch circle with an acetate window where I placed the baby's picture. Used another die cut to put the baby's, um, his name, covered that up with birth date and weight. And then just added elements from the paper. Did a wrap around spine that goes around. Used a little chipboard element, put a little picture of the baby in there. And then there is the back. So let's look inside. So it starts off the inside front cover just like the Savannah album. So if you remember the Savannah album, we had this pocket with a little booklet that we made. And this is a, just a booklet for, you know, journaling the events of the baby whatever the parents want to do, that goes in this little pocket with a little library envelope here. So I just basically duplicated that with this album library envelope here, um, but now using the little things paper, and then I'm going to write, be writing them a little note, who it's to and who it's from, me, a picture of the baby at the hospital, and made uh, another little booklet. That sits in here. First page. In the Savannah album, we used this as a cut apart, and this cut apart, and we made a little flap where we're going to be putting two photos in here. For the little things, I used a journaling card. I love this quote, enjoy the little things for one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. And I put the baby's feet in there from the hospital. I just love that picture. So you open this up, got pictures of, <clears throat> of the mom and, and dad and the baby and then mom and dad at the hospital. So that's just like the Savannah album. And then you open this flap up and you come to this spread for some pictures, and then you come over to this side, which has a, a pocket and a little place for a booklet. So I just made a booklet, put that in here. That is just like our Savannah album. Open this up, you have the spread, you have this pocket, and then you have a booklet that was made from the zebra cut apart. And that goes back in here. So that was page one. 
Now, page two with the Savannah album, we have our portrait waterfall made from this cut apart. So in page two of this, oops, gotta go to page two, we have our portrait waterfall using a journaling card. And same thing, we have this um, button tie closure. I love making these. And then we, I just put in some, some of the pictures that I had so far. And so I put some of the pictures in here and the left, you know, these are all blank for them to fill in. The other thing I wanted to tell you, when you're making these waterfalls, do not cover these with designer paper. It will get way too bulky. What you can use, and copy paper does not look good, but use this 100% cotton fiber resume paper. It looks nice, it feels nice, and it's still only 25, 24 pounds, so it doesn't add much bulk at all. And then I like these button tie closures because you can tighten it up real well right there. Added this, scatter sunshine, and then you get to this page. In the Savannah album, we had our pocket, and we had this little spread with um, a pocket there where we made a booklet, and that goes in here. Same thing here, we have a pocket with an insert, and then I used that resume paper back in here also. That goes back in the pocket. May your troubles be few and your blessings many. Uh, um, place for a photo here. Then we have this spread where we have our pocket. Places for more photos or journaling. Um, you can add a, a booklet or photo mat. Just goes back in there. Then we come to our next page which in the Savannah album was this giraffe page where we use this cut apart, open this up, and then we came to this area here, a large pocket where we put a booklet, and then this, this flap here did the same thing, only using a journaling card, scatter sunshine and happiness. That's what babies do. You open it up, you have your spread here, spread here, and then this big pocket where you can put some booklets, photo mats, they all just fit in there. Then we come to our horizontal waterfall. I always like to have a portrait and horizontal waterfall because that's how our pictures come out. They're all not horizontal, they're all not um, portraits. So with this Savannah one, we had this pocket with this giraffe peeking through the pocket, and then we had our horizontal waterfall. Here we have a pocket, and then I put this little um, cut apart down here, you are my sunshine, and then just got a little picture of the baby and stuck it down in there. You are my sunshine, so cute. And here is our waterfall using one of our journaling cards again. And then lined it with that resume paper again. Then our last page, the last page in the Savannah album was just a simple belly band with a large with a large booklet. The only difference that I did with this one, this, this is a two and a half inch belly band. This is a three inch belly band because um, I wanted to add this journaling card, happy things on the front. So I made it into a three inch belly band and then we have our booklet in here. The back inside cover, Remember in the Savannah album, we had this beautiful accordion pocket. Well, I made the same accordion pocket using this cute mushroom paper. And 
it is a big pocket. It is a huge pocket. And I stuffed it with leftover paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leftover paper and some extra journaling cards. So if they want to make some photo mats, add some more journaling cards, they can have that. So put that in there. And just this just closes up with our, our button string closure again, which I love. And a little mushroom charm. So that's it for this little album. These are easy to make and I just love this size and if you're giving them as gifts I like to point out where they can put their pictures, give them some ideas. These are all removable. None of these I glued down. These are all removable. So if they want to remove them and replace them with photos that they have they can do that. I just wanted to show them this is what you can do and how they fit in. So I am going to be doing a separate video to go through the materials list. So there is no confusion on the material list if you decide to do this. But that is my take on a little things baby album doesn't have to be a baby album, could be for a little child. Cute, whimsical, bright, happy, happy paper. So that's it for today, and you guys keep on crafting. Bye!